everybody, got a Devo for you today. Hey, about a week ago, I was just praying out loud, talking to God, and uh, and I was meditating on Hebrews chapter 11, and, and and something came out of me. It said, God is pleased with what I do, and it's out of an overflowing of understanding who He is. And it really, over the last week, I've dove into this, and, and it's really been a core of, of my contemplation and meditation about the Lord. And it's really encouraged me, and I just want you to be encouraged by this too, because these truths are so real. Like God's word is just, it, it's unending. It's, it's just amazing. Um, and every time you go through it, new things come out, you know, like reading the Bible once never cuts it. And so I want to talk to you about God is pleased with what we do when it's out of an overflow of understanding who he is. You see, relationship with Jesus Christ is the prerequisite to serving Jesus Christ. I'm going to say that again. Relationship with Jesus is the prerequisite to serving Jesus. You see, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, or better yet, the prerequisite to pleasing service to Jesus. Uh, in, in Luke chapter 10, we're going to go through three different sets of scripture today, maybe four actually, different sets of scripture real quickly. This is only going to take a couple minutes. But in Luke chapter 10, we get these two people named Martha and Mary. Let me read to you what happens here. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has, let me, has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Look at what Jesus says. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Martha has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. God was more concerned with the relationship in this case than he still is. Now, let me move on, though, because Martha, what she was doing was good, but what we do needs to be flowing out of our relationship with Jesus. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says that without faith it's impossible to please God. But then it goes on, it tells you where this faith needs to be. It says, because anyone who comes to him must believe he exists and, and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. The reward of, uh, that God has for you flows out of earnestly seeking him, understanding who he is, and spending time with him. See, we cannot please God without faith. And the faith needs to be in two things, not in our service, but faith that he rewards us because we seek him, faith that he blesses us because he's pleased with us because we know him. You see, the father wants more than anything to have quality time with his kids. And I know when I spend quality, I just had a date with my daughter. When I spend quality time with my kids, they get spoiled. And God wants to say right now, I just want to spoil you and you will please me so much. If only you will seek me. If only you will seek my face, seek to spend time with me. And while you spend time with me, well, it, I'm going to bless everything that you do. And God just wants you to know that right now. He wants to spoil you as he spends time with you. I'm going to move on just a little bit more uh, to prove this point here. Because some of us think, well, I can work, 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 and work my way into God's God's favor, and you can't do that. I'm just going to summarize here. In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus says, Many will come to me and say, Lord, Lord, have I not done many good things? Cast out demons, heal people, all this stuff in your name. And God's response to him is, Get away from me. I never knew you. You doer of iniquity. You worker of evil. You see, the thing is, is that Jesus, you can do all kinds of things for the church, for Jesus, but if they're not out of an, a relationship and an overflow of knowing him, then it's not service to the Lord, and he's not going to receive it as service to the Lord. He's pleased with what we do when it's out of a relationship with him and because of an understanding of who he is. And lastly, in Matthew chapter 25, we have the same thing. We have ten virgins. Uh, five of them had extra oil. They were prepared, and five of them weren't. And he says, keep watchful at the end. He says, because to the five that didn't have extra oil that weren't prepared, he says, I don't know you. I can't let you in. But the five that were, he says, I do know you. If you want to prepare for Jesus Christ to, and an encounter with Jesus Christ, we have to understand that Jesus, first and foremost, is pleased with what we do only when it's an album overflow of understanding who he is and a relationship with him. You see, we can work and work and work for God's favor and wonder why he's not coming through because he just wants to say, 
Martha, Martha, you're upset about a lot of things, but this one has chosen the one thing that won't be taken from you. Jesus will not remove himself from you or his relationship with you from you. He just wants to love you and love you and love you in relationship with you. Please, just for a minute, if you feel like you're caught up doing things, maybe even good things, take a minute and spend some time with Jesus because he's going to spoil you as you spend time with him. As much as you try to please him with the things that you do, he's more pleased when you just spend time at his feet. And then when you do what you do, he'll bless it. God, I praise you and thank you, love you and adore you. God, I thank you for, uh, Lord, just for your wisdom and for the relationships that we can have with you. God, that the Most High God, you consider yourself to be our friends because you've made yourself known to us. And we thank you for that. And Jesus, just continue to empower us, Lord, to walk in power in relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now go and be who God has created you to be.